Okay, White Room by Cream. Uh, this was a big hit in 1968. Um, I have a standard tuning on my guitar. Uh, this song is played in the key of D minor. And I'm playing a D minor chord. Okay, the song starts out with this intro and uh, I'll play the chords to it. It sounds something like this. Okay, the chords. This is a G minor, G, D, G, a B flat, and uh, I'm only playing the inner four strings. I'm muting the outer strings. And then you just move down a whole step, and this is an F major, F, C, F and what's that? That's an A. And then you move down a whole step and a half. And that's a D minor. Now you notice that's the same form that I had up here with the G minor. So if you can make the G minor up here and you can make that D minor down here. And then the next chord is a C major. And that's the same form as the chord I was playing here, which is an F major. Okay, now keep in mind, you don't have to play the chords in these positions. You have a lot of other choices. For example, a G minor, an F major, and then a D minor, and then a C major. Uh, the second time around, that last chord was an A minor seventh. So I'm playing an open A, an E, an open G, a C, and an E. Now, if you know how to play an A minor chord, play that. And then uh, just lift up your ring finger. And that's the seventh. So, A, E, and an open G. So I'll play one more time, G minor. Then we move down to an F major. And then a D minor. And then a C major. And then you repeat that again. And then you play that last chord, which is an A minor seventh. Okay, the uh, lead guitar. Uh, the notes are a D, a C, an A, and then a G. Okay, you notice I'm just playing all those notes on the second string. On the first string, they would be here. Okay, the uh, bass pattern for these chords are D. C, B, B flat, and then a C, and then back up to a D. So, 
sounds something like this. So here I'm just playing an open D, an A, and a D. And uh, that's a power chord. Okay, now here I'm playing a C, E, open G, and a D. And then you play a B, open D, open G, and a D. Okay, here, that's a B-flat major. A B-flat, F, B-flat, and a D. Okay, now keep the same shape with your fingers. And just move up a whole step, and that's a C major. And then it repeats itself. Okay, now we get into the chorus. So the verse would go into the chorus like this. So the chords in the chorus are C major, and then a G major, open D, open G, open B. And then we go to a B flat major, and then a half step down. That's an A major. Open A, E, A, and a C sharp. So again, C major, G major, a B flat major, A major, and then you repeat it again. C major, a G major. Okay, now we walk up. So we walk up, we play a B flat major, a C major, and a D major. And they play that little lick the first time. I do a little variation on that. It adds color to it, I think. Uh, maybe a little bit too much, but uh, I like to do it anyway. Is uh, bar the inner four strings on the third fret. So you do that. So again, bar the inner four strings, and then you play the D note. Now you move up a whole step and you do the same thing. So if you played the bass line, it would sound just like this. And then 
after that it kicks right into the verse again. Okay, the intro, which is pr repeated throughout the song, uh, the lead guitar part, like I showed you earlier, okay, the uh, bass riff played during the verse sounds something like this. Okay, so the notes are D, C, a B, a B flat, and then a C, a D. And then a variation on that is Okay, that's all for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Bye.